Hello and welcome to the Onfido Customer Experience Portal. In this video guide, we will walk through the features and benefits that are designed to make your experience as seamless as possible. So let's get started. To begin, go to support.onfido.com where you can log in with your username and password. If you're not registered, click the Public Help Center link, which will take you to a page with several helpful articles related to API and Onfido products. It's also where you might be able to find an answer to your support issue. For example, if you click on the Knowledge Base button, you'll find yourself on a page where you can see links to articles for various products. Check out this cool feature we added. If you type a term into the search bar, such as SSO, it will give you suggestions for articles it might be related to, like this article here. It gives you step-by-step -step directions on how to set up SSO. If you still need to submit a ticket for support, simply click on the Submit a Case button, add your details in the proper fields and what you need help with below that. It doesn't end there. I want to show you another cool feature. When filling out the subject line, let's say I have an issue with SSO and I start typing it out. It'll produce some article suggestions in the Need Answers Fast section here. When I click on an article, this is how it will look. Hopefully this solves your issue and you have no need to submit a ticket, in which case you would click on yes to stop creating your case at the bottom here. If you want access to the internal portal, which we highly recommend, simply click on request login here to register. Fill out the required fields, and after receiving the credentials, you can log into the internal customer experience portal where you can still get the public articles previously shown, but in addition, articles that are accessible only to our customers. One of the benefits of being a customer is that you can view all the cases that you've raised in the past. For example, you can go to My Open Cases, My Closed Cases, all open cases that your organization has submitted, and all of the closed cases as well. If you click on Contact Support, you can provide case information that will help in streamlining the process. Choose I'm experiencing issues with the product in the pull-down menu. Then in the next pull-down menu, I have the option to choose which product, a sub-product that may be related to the issue, specify the case severity, Add to the subject if maybe I had an issue with Studio. And lastly, a full description of what you're experiencing. If you'll notice, when you type out phrases, the portal is constantly updating in the Need Answers Fast section with articles relevant to your subject. If viewing the article solves your issue, you'll have the option to resolve the ticket. Once you've submitted a ticket, you can click on Cases, My Open Cases, and track the progress of your ticket. You could see the ticket here, and if you click on it, you can see more details about it, like who owns the ticket and the status of the ticket. I could add an update to the ticket here, such as a new issue, or add a screenshot, or maybe just to inform the support team that the issue has been resolved. Once you're done adding to the ticket and refresh the browser, you could see that the status has changed to active engineering, which means it has been escalated internally. If for any reason you feel your ticket needs to be escalated, you can click on the Escalate Case button here so the support team can evaluate if it needs to be prioritized. And finally, if your issue has been resolved, you can click on the Close Case button here, which will close your ticket. We hope the tips in this video guide will make your experience an enjoyable one. Thank you.